Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Electro and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I will be taking you through and explaining every room that is in the bunker in Ghosts of Tabor. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the first room. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your key cards and pick up the red one. Then you want to go over to where it says Armory and put your key card in unlocking the room. Once you walk inside, you'll probably be taken back by how much things are there. Let me explain. Let's start off with this mannequin, which might be the first thing you see. This mannequin can essentially hold armor and a helmet on it, like a display. The next thing you'll see is this gun wall. And what is essentially, the next thing you will see is this gun wall. And what this essentially lets you do is display your guns on it. Pick up any gun and just hover it above until you see a second gun on the wall and let go to display the weapon on the wall. This weapon can then be picked back up and use and then put back very useful way of displaying the next thing we're going to talk about is these backpack markers on the wall essentially this lets you hang up three backpacks this is your ammo crafting section this requires its own tutorial so maybe in a later date we'll get to that and then you have just loads of storage areas next to it here is the best place to store mags ammo crafting equipment and more the next thing we're going to talk about is this locker here and essentially what this allows you to do is store armor chest plates very simple very easy to use yes that is a locker pretty easy to use Moving on, if you go to the back of the armory, you'll see this blue door, which requires the blue key card. And essentially, this is just more space, more gun wall, more bags, another mannequin, and another locker. Right, the next room we're going to talk about is the trade room, and it requires the white key card. So, take your key card up to where it says trade room and put it in the key card slot. Once it is ready, you can step inside. Immediately, the first thing you're going to notice is this screen, and essentially what this allows you to do is any purchased items or items you own that you have not yet received, you can receive from here. Just tap on the item you want, and the wall will spin around and then give you that item where you can pick it up and then store it. Let's say you want to sell something you throw it on this conveyor belt here and you go to this little screen and then you can sell it for the in-game currency of karuna you can put anything on here this currency can be spent in the tabor market which I have a little guide for coming out soon there's also more storage on the right when you walk in or the left if you're going out and that's all there is from the trade room moving on to the final room this room is a bit weird it's going to require the green key card or the final one you'll have and it is called sector three the only thing down here once you make your way down is a nice little shooting range you can practice your aiming here but other than that that's it so then everyone i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please make sure to like and subscribe i hope i've explained everything perfectly for you so now you understand what your bunker does or your safe house anyways lads i've been electro thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one